what's good, people? What's good? I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. I'm wearing my Hoochie Daddy shorts because my friend tells me I've been wearing my big 90s shit. Like, I still think I'm 418 pounds. I was the world's worst uh, vegan. It is, uh, it's true, it's true. It's uh, hard out here for a vegan. Um, I feel bad about watching the show Yellowstone. They got all the strong types. They got the cowboy who kind of likes the environment because it's part of his economy. They got the strong, alcoholic white woman who might, you know, win some kind of uh, Emmy for her performance. And then they got the world's dumbest vegan who comes on the farm and starts complaining about what they're eating and they start making really bad faith arguments about veganism. But uh, it is what it is. I'm trying to represent. I try to break uh, stereotypes. Uh, I came here on time uh, today. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a rough stereotype. But, uh, you know, I say that the whole being on time thing is very anti-black, anti-brown. Um, you know, we have a different a different view of uh, space and time. It is uh, what it is. Um, I would like to invite you to um, Fat History Month, uh, AKA Chubby Chaser uh, Month. Uh, find a uh, fat friend, uh, especially if they're fat, uh, awkward, and black, and fuck the shit out of them. And, uh, that's how we solve this whole race relations thing. Um, if you're not into that, uh, you can pass up $100 white people. We can start this reparations thing off right. Uh, yesterday's price is not today's price. Uh, get in while the uh, the price is very low. You can go home and brag to your friends how liberal you are. You can tell them you uh, helped start the uh, revolution. Um, that's what we should be doing out here. Uh, dating is kind of weird now. It's like um, I see posts like have children, don't want children. Like what the fuck are you trying to say there? Like. You're looking for a hit man, you know? um, and I just want a hit man, you know? Uh, I read this post that was going really well. This woman was talking about, I want romance, I want adventure, you know, um, I want this, I want that. Um, so, you know, it was going pretty well. Punctuation was a little off, so that was a red flag. Uh, no spaces after the comma. And then I scrolled to the bottom, and it said, no night owls. That was a big uh, red flag. And it said, no black or bald men. So, um, and then I slid back to the top, and I realized this person lived in Slidell. So, um, they're definitely not representing for the Virgos out there. We like to, we like to keep our feelings tucked, uh, not to show our hand, you know. I was on a date last year, went very well. First date, uh, you know, feelings were tucked. Played it cool. Second date, we turned all the way up, and I decided we should do mushrooms. Um, only problem with that was she really peer pressured me into doing more than I wanted to do. I wanted to do a macro dose. She had me doing more, and uh, I thought I killed it. I thought the date went great. Next day, I got two phone calls. First phone call said that she got robbed on the way home. She was trying to do the strong alcoholic white woman thing. <laughs> Walked me to the train. Little did she know I hopped my ass in an Uber. I, I wasn't going to be going all the way from the East Village on a train back to Brooklyn. I would have ended up in the Bronx somewhere with the Warriors, uh, getting my ass kicked. Second thing she told me was, at one point I stopped communicating and I just kept beatboxing. Um, apparently, don't, women don't like it when you don't communicate traditionally. So I said... Don't make me over now that I do anything for you. Respect me for what I am. So I cut her off, and then I cut off white woman for Lent. But uh, have no fear. Lent is over. Uh, I'm back out there, and I'm loving every minute of it. My name is Flavius Aurelius Maximus. Thanks.